Amos, your Ness. I wouldn't necessarily consider Plan an online top tier, but with the way they fail playing. Proving us he's, wrong. Proving us wrong. wrong dude. He's proving us wrong, I'm telling you. Make it West Coast only? We'll see. I'm gonna see how things go, like like we've said before, if you guys are just like MSM is a street is uh the biggest, you know, local on a Monday. And it's probably, you know, primetime Smash Ultimate Monday, you know, you can see on Twitch, but with the given situation, you know, we're trying to expand our reach into everybody who is trying to win a tournament. And honestly, we're, I don't know, too many tournaments on a Monday night uh, that are online. And MSM is definitely uh, 2GG's stepping up to the plate to put up a great tournament series on a Monday night, even if it's online. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I know there's a couple of other, like, um, I know there's a couple of other, like, tournaments that are either limiting their, like, their, oh, it's region only. And you have to, like, I think Vegas has a region only tournament, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that seems difficult to advertise. I mean, it makes sense. Some, 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 uh, for me, it makes sense. Like having a region only, it's can be pretty straightforward, but like keeping it region only can be difficult because you can't necessarily check where almost everyone is from. Cause some people don't have their like, oh yeah, I'm from Netherlands, you know, or so and so such and such country. It's really, really hard to kind of keep track of. Apparently, Inferni's from Florida. Er, that's what his uh, Twitter profile says. Mm -hmm. But it's really difficult, too, because, like, there could be two players who have the same name, so they could be, like, Vans from SoCal, but Vans from, like, you know, Oklahoma or something. And it's You're from or, Oklahoma? I don't know. There could be another, like, player. That's, that's what I'm saying. Regional based online tournaments can be pretty hard to keep track of from what players from where. All right, you heard it here first. Oklahoma Vance. I'm not from there, guys. I was born <laughs> here in SoCal. <laughs> I guarantee you. Okay, well, let's get into the first game. The other set of winner semis. Lumbre versus Rhino Dude. Okay, probably expecting a charge shot missile. Trying to send it back with the, with the bat. I mean, it's kind of interesting, too, when you think about online top tiers these two characters are definitely very much of in the embodiment of it when a lot of people think about you know reasons why not to play online but they're kind of <laughs> counter i mean the one thing that ness does is kind of counter samus too i mean look at his ability and lumbrae's ability to just kind of keep rhino do it away a little bit of space there for a pk fire to kind of read the get up he is actually able to use side magnet to absorb the charge shots sniping out the missile with yep. the pk fire <laughs> That's kind of one of those things you have to amount to as well. You don't want to hold shield too long while Samus might go for a missile. Oh, no. That's so Stop unfortunate. There. He probably thought yeah. to use directional air dodging to the ledge. Nonetheless, I'm pretty sure Lumbre wants to take that to the bank and cash it out for a pretty small lead. I mean, 149. The small lead can amount to more as time goes on. Really good back throw into PK fire. I've never seen that, but I have to give Lumbre props for going for that. Oh, he is going for I'm sorry, he's going for everything. He went into PK flash with the PK Thunder. Yeah, I mean, PK Thunder did did cost him the stock, but you know, he's he's definitely feeling himself. There you go, charge shots, down throw into forward air, quick 48 damage. That was good. Saving the directional air dodge for that last second opportunity. When Rhino Dude thought it was safe to go for a down air, Lumbre just pulls it out. We see the drag down forward air into an F tilt. Lumbre reaching with those with those up airs, just trying to get one to catch so we can continue to juggle Rhino Dude. Nice back air. Finally puts out there Lumbre at the 59%. Okay, drag down forward air from the PK fire. And as soon as you get hit with PK fire, if not, if you're not just trying to, you know, make it out. The PK fire before uh, you get combo food. You're gonna have a bad time. Yep, I agree. Really good side stall there at the ledge. I mean, that's the one thing that like 
Ness can have over the, I'm sorry, Lumbre can have over Rhino Dude. Oh no. He was caught in a situation where he was too under the stage. That PK Thunder was absorbed into the stage itself when we lost the stock. Okay, so that charge shot is going to eat up the PK Thunder and tack on a little bit of damage onto Lumbre. The win win, but there's a drag down up air. Trying to get a shield poke from the. onto, onto Rhino Dude. But another back air! Whew. Wow. That was really good stuff too. I mean, you kind of caught Rhino Dude slipping for going for an up air. Like I mentioned earlier, like Ness is kind of a counter to Samus as a character. Like he does have enough disjoints with forward air, back air. Uh, he's got a really good combo game. Really great. Play. I mean, he's able to kind of counter around Samus's charge shot, which kind of like takes away one of her best tools in the neutral. Which I, you know. Yeah, I mean, Rhino Dude's gonna have a tough time when it comes to combating Lumbre's. His special attacks. He's gonna have to worry about. Usually, Rhino Dude will, you know, take his time recovering high, but now he has to worry about uh, PK Thunder sharking him, yeah. or the fact that some of his projectiles Limbrick can heal off of. It really throws a wrench in Rhino Dude's plan. I mean, hopefully, he gets a little bit more of Z Fi's teaching <laughs> to kind of help himself out there and maybe figure out another way to. Going for, and then, like you said, right, Lumray does kind of have a plan, so it's up to Rhino Dude to slowly kind of like look at his tools. The one thing we didn't see too much from Rhino Dude is maybe he should just start playing the spacing game with Zara a little bit more. That's right. Well, here we go. Game two Rhino Dude and Lumray. Okay, starting on Battlefield, now I know for a fact that this is another stage that uh, Lubre is quite comfortable on. Yeah. I mean, having the high ceiling is really good for a character like Ness. You don't really need smaller sides. You need like a higher ceiling to allow Ness to survive a little bit longer. Yeah, and I know for a fact that similar to uh, Pokemon Stadium, Ness's like to use the platforms and really do the aerial PK fires because yeah. it's center stage. 86% here, Lubre. Looking to push forward. I like the fact that, you know, he's not going for pummels. He just goes for an opportunity. You know what? I'm going to put Rhino Dude off the stage and take my edge guards from there. Oh, great parry. Almost with a great reaction of the forward smash. Yeah, Fortunately, the start of frames. A couple more jabs. A couple more jabs going on to Lumbre and help charge shot into grab. Ooh. That was clean. That was clean. And even if it didn't hit Rhino Dude, it's going to cause a shield and then allow Lumbre to come back to stage with the PK Thunder. Oh, nice. Yeah, unfortunately for Rhino Dude, Corkscrew doesn't put Samus at the top platform, which is really what he needed because it just allowed Lumbre to charge up a up smash just a little bit and take the stock. The down smash not gonna kill from across stage, but it was pretty close. Wow, really? Half charge? <laughs> I mean, at that opportunity at the ledge with how much Rhino Dude had on to Lumbre, it not not too much surprising there, but I couldn't see it enough to see if it was a bad case of uh, bad DI. No, I think it was just a great setup from Rhino Dude. He did another yeah. the the bombs into the charge shot, but it was only took a half shot to or half charge to actually take the stock. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. But good directional air dodge is gonna put Lumbre behind Rhino Dude. Just continues the chase. He's really oh. That hitbox was enough to actually be. I'm surprised. I did not think. That hitbox was big enough to actually hit Ness from that situation. I did not see that coming. Really good, <laughs> really great reaction from Lumbre. Like I said, right, that's the one thing that Ness kind of does against Samus in the online bracket is he just counters Samus, one of Samus' greatest neutral tools, being charge shot. You can yeah, reflect you can it. Send it or back, or you can just absorb it. Mm -hmm. Very true. There we go. But just like that, you know, we have back to an even game. It's a couple jabs coming out from Ryan Dude again. And ooh, okay. Once again, that down up. air. Yeah, going right above the ledge too. It's very smart. That's you know that's an area from which, you know, a lot of players don't like to go into, especially expending their second jump. Nice. Kind of. I wouldn't say that's much of a fake out, but unfortunately, that was a 
I know, dude. You kind of caught Lumbrae slipping there. <gasps> Another one? <laughs> yeah, that was good, too, because at that situation, like you said, the angle in which down air is, that's going to be really good for him. I'm going to just come back around and hit Lumbrae with it, kind of giving him a test of his own medicine. Really, really interesting plays coming out from Rhino, dude. Typically, don't see those uh, second jump down airs, but we saw him make use of at least three of them that he went in his yeah. favor. One of them was really good conversion from the ledge. The second one, the first one I was really surprised about because I did not see that hitbox, that spike hitbox being that big enough to actually hit Ness from that situation. But hey, man, I guess I learned something new today, right? The one thing I learned from online smash, I guess. It's double jump down air. Yeah, double jump down air and the spike hitbox from Samus' down air is bigger than I previously thought. Yeah, retains that meteor smash throughout the entire swing. I yeah, guess you are getting hit with an arm cannon, though, so it makes sense. Yeah, so looking at the frame, look at the frame data from ultimateframedata.com. Um, it's got a really good arc, and for two frames, it's pretty weak. But for the rest of the arc, it's still really, really good. Are those frames in the beginning? The beginning and end. The first frame in the oh, beginning. It's one and the last... in one. That's yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. It's one frame in the beginning, two frames at the end, or two frames in the beginning, two frames. Okay. Oh, interrupting the fair train with an up air, a drag down up air from Ren, dude. Very smart. Very clean. Okay, PK fire, but Ren, dude's able to escape. Oh, nice. He kind of was trying to read the fact that Ren, dude, might be trying to jump out of that situation. To avoid getting hit by Nair, that's something that Lumbre has been doing. So that's a really good little bit of adjustment from Lumbre. Mm, but another back air for Lumbre. And where is the shark going to be? Where is the ledge trap? Just misspaced the down smash. Very unfortunate for Lumbre. Oh. But giving Rhino Dude a taste of his own medicine. Rising down air. That was an incredible play from Lumbre. I have to give him credit there. Oh, yeah, but unfortunately, I feel like in that situation, the Abtol was enough to actually cover that situation. Not, not part of the stage. Good stuff from Lumer, though. Swerving around the PK Thunder, like I said. He's able to shut down some of Samus' favorite neutral tools. Yeah, even knocking the homing missile right back at Rhino Dude. And it, it picked up some speed on the way back, too. I don't oh, think Rhino yeah. Dude was ready for it. That's a home run bad, dude. There's a reason why that thing is labeled Smash. Okay, down throw. Unfortunately for Ryan, dude wasn't able to pick up the forward air follow up. Okay, yeah, that whiff grab is going to get punished with an air and another back air connecting for Lumbre. That was a really, I mean, he was able enough and I had enough time to go for an aerial and go for two back airs. But I like it, Lumbre keeping it pretty simple. He knows I'm just going to push this man off the stage and take it from there because that's all I need to do. Did you see the setup that Lumbre was going for at the ledge though? He did, he did short hop down air trying to get the the ground bounce just so we can yeah. follow up into big damage Ooh. i like the attempt he was the risk reward was definitely like worth it in favor yeah work out. Okay, here comes the back there are we gonna do pk thunder oh stalling out but getting punished another down air spike from rhino dude yeah he is not letting lumbre have too much fun with those opportunities off the stage he's kind of slowly punishing lumbre this could be rhino dude's opportunity here 61 percent Onto Lumbre, but a missed grab. Good parry. Yeah, Rhino Dude had the right idea. He knew that uh, Lumbre was going to directional air dodge, but directional air dodging onto the platform instead of in front of Rhino Dude. And here we go, sharking the platforms, but a reversal coming up from beneath Rhino Dude with an up air and now an up smash to connect. Yeah, kind of a, a really good change from Lumbre too, because at the ledge, I thought that Rhino Dude was expecting something else like a down smash, but. With the way that Lumber was positioned, and that smash is a really good play. Even if we tried to go for the ledge or try to go low for a recovery, the fact that you can just leave the smashes laying in there for Ness to just hold the yo-yo is really good. So Lumbre putting it out, I think it's 2-1, yeah? Yep, 2-1 Lumbre. One of SoCal's finest, PR, if I'm not mistaken, from the last season. Unfortunately, we had a short season due to... I was the... surprised that we even released a, a PR. <laughs> Same, but at the at the same time, like too much had happened in the first two two point 
2.5 months, I would say. Like, we had another like we week. had like a month and a half. Oh, yeah, no, we a had month. two months. We had two yeah, full months. Yeah, we had two full months and like half a month. Because I remember we still had that half a month before we went into full quarantine. But a lot had happened in those two months. And Charlie being the best player in SoCal was the outcome of it with such a great Genesis 7 um ranking being ninth i believe in that genesis 7 charlie god so there was a lot that happened that if we didn't if the we didn't pee if we didn't pr these players for those two and a half months it kind of would have been almost a crime i know <laughs> definitely riots in the streets you're supposed to be in quarantine nope they didn't give us a pr we got a riot <laughs> <laughs> i mean especially i mean when i think about this too especially for charlie who did so well that season only to just not be ranked at all, like that would have definitely been such a herder. But I know Charlie doesn't look at a ranking; he looks at his own. He looks at becoming better as a player overall. I mean, this—that's just the young cub growing up. I remember oh. the Charlie who just said that he wanted to get on the PR, and like that was the goal. But look at him now, just seeing how much he's grown. But enough about Charlie; he got DQ'd from this bracket. Yeah, so we got Rhino Dude and Lumbre. <laughs> Okay, falling up air and falling up with another up air. Rhino's attacking on a little bit of extra damage. Ooh! See that Zare into Downto? That was, that was a tree. I was gonna say that was a really good play. I lost my words there, but damn. Yeah, Limber having a lot of difficulty just getting, planting his feet back onto the ground, but finally able to make it back to stage. But not before taking 133%. Oh my. Oh, but he is pushing this corner carry all around the whole state. Percent. Okay. It's almost like the tables have turned. Momentum just completely shifted, but a fully charged shot. Not enough to kill from center stage, but just push him off the end. That was the first time I've seen Zare hit, and the whole set. <laughs> and that played so well for Rhino Dude at the situation. Once again, Lumber goes for the offstage toss. A really good PK Thunder early. Earning the stock as soon as possible, only 10% taken. Kind of slowing a little bit of the momentum Rhino had. Really, really good return to send there with the forward smash. Yeah, and that's so unfortunate for Rhino because you know he's feeling himself. Momentum was definitely in his favor. He just picked up a really good stock on Lumbre, only to lose a stock because he missed a tech. That's definitely got to kill your momentum. And it's hard, too, because of the way that PK Thunder works, it can be difficult to just anticipate a tech timing there. Yeah, and I'm sure Wi Fi isn't helping either. Yeah. Send hey, it back that missile. Yep. I mean, that's one thing this Lumbre is looking to shut down is Samus's neutral play here. Is just to shut down her favorite neutral tools and then take, pick apart the character from there. I mean, that up smash, speaking of picking it apart there, he knew it hangs it at the ledge for a good reason. Wow, that was good. Yeah, easy 40 damage from Lumbre. And Rhino Dude, mind you, Rhino Dude started off with being the great aggressor. I'm <laughs> putting Lumber on the back foot, and Lumber just slowly snuck us in here. Yeah, Perry and Tiford Air reaching for it with another down air, but Lumber is going to whiff this time. Oh, that was really scary, too, because if if Rhino Dude DI'd away, he would have had to get worried about getting hit by the PK Thunder in an edge guard situation, but if he tried to go for a directional air dodge in, he might have gotten hit by Lumbre with PK Thunder. Okay, yeah, throwing out a lot of grenades, a lot of bombs at the ledge. That was good, shield poke. Enough damage. 111%. We saw Rhino Dude perform very well earlier uh, here in game four. It's going to need a similar play just to make up the, the deficit that he currently has. That was good, that was good. He Rhino Dude had adjusted himself. He's like, fine, take the missile. There is some end like after the reflection, and then I'll go for a shot there. Great directional air dodge to avoid the blast zone. Yeah, but now Rhino Dude did expend his second jump, able to escape the ledge. No yo-yo play for coming out from from Lumbre. Yeah, Lumbre tried to catch the jumps there with two up airs, but he missed the opportunity. 66%. It's any man's game here because the way that damage has knockback, especially at the ledge with this rage. Ooh. Okay, this could... yeah, expend the second jump. Ooh. Landing with the air. I mean, this is this is definitely any man's game to win here. But I was gonna say it's. Lumbra's game to lose if Rhino Dude is able to make this comeback. Okay, we see another up air. Rhino Dude's been doing a pretty oh. good job of striking the landing, but an air dodge, a neutral air dodge, is going to escape Lumbra from getting juggled and the shark that Rhino Dude was putting out. 